Hi guys, just going to today show you how to check your alternator um, and look at some of the symptoms uh, if your alternator stops charging your battery and your battery goes flat and some of the checks that we're going to do. A couple of the first checks, we just make sure our battery terminals are all tight and all connected that we haven't got any cables off uh, also we have a look down here make sure we've actually got the belt the alternator and fan belt is on uh, the alternator on this model is down down in the bottom down there Once we've done some of those initial checks, we need to hook up our multimeter. Now on our multimeter, we'll want to um, select the, the DC volts. Uh, we can see on that screen there, uh, DC volts. Um, and then our two leads, which we need to connect to the positive and negative of the battery. and check the voltage. Now I've had this battery on charge for a little while. It's showing 12.7 volts. Around about 12.6 is a charged battery. Anything below that, it means the battery is not fully charged. Um, and what we will do now that we've got our voltmeter connected is we will start the engine and our voltage should go up to around about 14 volts if our alternator is charging. Uh, and as we can see now, the voltage has actually dropped down a bit once we've started it. Um, I'll turn the lights on uh, and put some load on that system and let's see what that voltage does. Okay, now we can see the voltage actually going down as the lights are on. Now we can see that the voltage is actually dropping and it's falling down, it's almost at 12 volts. Uh, if we drove for any period of time, that voltage would get to that flat that the engine would cut out. So we've definitely got a problem there. Uh, let's do some further checks on the alternator. Okay, we can see that the alternator is actually turning down there with the belt on it. Uh, we need to have a look at the wiring and make sure that's all attached at the back of the alternator. Okay, I've removed the air cleaner box out of the way so that we can get some access to the alternator. A couple of the checks that we want to do here, we want to make sure that these wiring plug that plugs into the back to the regulator is all attached and no wires missing or hanging out and also our main battery supply our B plus terminal on the alternator is tight uh, and then we can carry out a couple of checks with our multimeter currently at our battery we've got 12.6 volts um, let's check what our voltage is at our alternator on that B positive terminal Okay, I've hooked up the multimeter, the positive to the B positive terminal on the alternator and the earth onto the earth of the alternator where it goes onto the bracket and the motor. Got 12.5 volts there, slightly below what it was at the battery, but let's check for voltage drop between our battery wire at the alternator and our battery. That's a very important connection. Um, let's see what we've got there. Let's see how we do that. So what I've done here is I've got the multimeter connected to the B positive. 
to the multimeter and across and connect it to the positive terminal on the battery and we want that voltage as close to zero as possible uh, what I'll do now is start the car up and we want that to be stay less than 0.2 of one volt to check for voltage drop Okay, so we can see it stayed at zero volts. There's no voltage drop between the positive terminal of the battery and where it goes to the positive terminal of the alternator. Now, if we change our connection of our multimeter, we can check it what voltage is actually at the alternator there put that onto the negative terminal and we've got 12.4 volts at the alternator so the indication is it's not charging we also have our battery light illuminated on the dash there which normally would go off once we start the car. So by all the checks that we've actually done there, it indicates that we've got a faulty alternator. Uh, all the wires are attached, the battery lights on on the dash, uh, our battery terminal cables and that are all attached. So what we'll do is change out that alternator. I hope hope this gives you a good insight in how to check your alternator on your car. So give us a like and uh, thanks for watching.